Chris and Victor, good playing out there. A little slow start, 100 through six, but then nine out of the last 12. Victor, what was the key for the turnaround out there? Uh, Chris decided to heat up his putter. Uh, <laughs> that really helped. Um, but I, I felt like we really played solid golf all 18 holes. Um, it was hard to get really close to some of those pins, and that's where you just got to hit it you know, to 20, 20 feet, and if you make the putt, then that's great. But um, we, we, we basically had two birdie chances on every single hole. Um, and um, towards the, the middle to the back end of the, the round, Chris's putter heated up, and, and uh, it, was, it was cool to watch, and, and uh, we just played really solid golf. Chris, you guys were teammates at Oklahoma State. Obviously played a lot of golf together. How big of a factor was that for you guys out there? Obviously not only the comfort level, but kind of knowing what each guy's doing out on the golf course. I think just the, the mindset overall is just that we know each other pretty well and we're comfortable around each other. So it, it was going to be a fun day no matter what. Obviously we played well today, but it's just, you know, it's always fun to play together and we don't get to do that very often in a tournament especially. So it definitely brings back some memories to national teams in Norway and, and college golf for sure. One of your questions, looks like the breeze is blowing out there pretty good. How big of a factor was it out there today? Yeah, some of those pins are, uh, you know, they're, for example, tucked on the right side and the, and the wind is blowing off the right. And, um, you know, it's easy to get tricked into trying to hit a hit, hit a perfect shot to get it close. But sometimes you just kind of hit it in the middle of the green and just play smart. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's an awesome golf course. And when it blows like this, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to play. Well, guys, great start. Good luck tomorrow on the alternate shot. Perfect. Yeah, Thank thanks. you. All right, Victor, uh, what sort of uh, got you guys going on your last uh, last stretch of holes? Um, that's a good question. I mean, we, we played pretty similar the first six, seven holes, I'd say. Uh, maybe we weren't as close to the pin um, as we were on the on the you know the back end of the on the round. Um, Chris hurt, certainly hit some some shots pretty close, and I hit some some shots pretty close and made up made some easy birdies. But um, yeah, towards the back down there, Chris really started making some putts, and uh, that's just kind of you know it's it, it's not a big difference between how we play the front and the back. It's just kind of you get it going and you try to take advantage of it. Chris, uh, you guys have known each other for such a long time. You guys have been college teammates. How nice is it for you as you're starting your PGA Tour career with Victor to have somebody like him who's won a couple of times out here already to kind of look up to and uh, be inspired by? It's great. I mean, obviously, we know each other pretty well, so it's it's been fun to see, you know, the, the good play that he's had in the last year, year and a half. And... Uh, Obviously motivating, you know, it's just more motivation to to play better and, and practice harder. And today was fun. And I think, you know, my mindset into this week was we we're going to have fun no matter what. You know, we don't get to play with each other very often. So um, this is certainly a, a treat. I want to ask you guys, uh, 13th hole with the tree in the middle of the fairway. What kind of uh, strategy do you guys have with that hole? I think it just kind of depends on the, the wind a little bit. Uh, today was more off the right. and. Uh, I must have caught a gust where it was more off the right than hurt, and I was able to blow past the tree. Uh, but yesterday in the practice round, it was straight in, and we both had good drives that were kind of uh, almost right behind it. Um, so that's, I mean, you, you can't, I, I think the, the, the mistake is there to over strategize the tree and try to play away from it. You just kind of have to hit, it, hit a normal good drive and then just deal with whatever um, comes into play on the second shot. Can you guys refresh my memory, the, the year, the tournament that Coach Bratton came over, really to see if I remember this right, Chris, yep. and then discovered Victor U as well, right? Yeah, I guess we uh, we played the European Boys Team uh, Championships in Scotland, um, and uh, that was Chris's last year as a, as a junior as to a play junior, that yeah. tournament. Mm -hmm. And uh, Coach Bratton came over to basically watch Chris, and I happened to play a singles match just right behind him and, and um, that's kind of when Coach Rad Coach Braden came became more familiar with the, the Norwegian team and and uh, yeah just started a, a good kind of relationship. Victor how surprised are you that, that Chris hasn't won yet? <laughs> uh, I mean it, it's really hard to win but 
Um, you you have to obviously play really good golf, but you can play really good golf and, and still not win. Um, I think from what I've seen the last couple of days in Chris's game, I've been I've been really impressed. Um, not I mean I know he's capable of it. He has a lot of talent, so I think it's just to kind of get more comfortable around here and just seeing more of what he did today. Um, you know, just to get that confidence and get the ball rolling. It won't be too long, I don't think. How many rounds do you think you guys have played together? <laughs> that's a lot. I mean, that's a couple hundred probably. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. And, and how many as a, as a team like this? Still a lot. <laughs> probably still a lot, yeah. I well, mean, we're 10, right? 10, 10. I mean, we do those national team stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, we've, we've got some experience. Palmer Cup. Palmer Cup, yeah. yeah. Did you feel a round like this coming for you, Chris? And, and what was the best shot you had today? Uh, I mean, it was obviously a good day, and uh, we gave ourselves a lot of chances. So it was either going to be a really low one or something in the middle of the pack if the putter wasn't hot. But I think the, the big thing is just giving yourself a lot of chances. And, and when you have two birdie putts, it certainly makes it a lot easier to shoot uh, a low score. And as far as the best shot, probably one of the, the par threes where you know, I maybe might have pulled it slightly and it ended up really close or something like that. Uh, You're talking about my shot or your shot? My shot, <laughs> but your shot too. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm terrible at remembering holes, so it's, it was just, it was solid today. I don't know, I can't pick one shot. Okay. All right, thanks, guys. Really appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.